I have a prophetic word, dream based, based off a dream. Um, there's a Pentecostal pastor who we visited, and um, I'm not going to name the denomination, but I'm under the impression that this is not just about him, this is about a lot of pastors out there who are addicted to pornography and as a result of their addiction to pornography have adopted an antinomian cheap grace form of Christianity to where the grace of God does not teach us to deny worldly lusts and to live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. Titus 2, 11-12. But rather, it teaches people to turn the grace of God into lasciviousness and we're, we're dealing with that right now in the pastoral ministry people are addicted to porn and they're turning the grace of God into lasciviousness because they can't figure out how to get free nor do they want to and so they've given up on repentance they've given up on holiness they've given up on um, ever getting uh, ever escaping from hell uh, because they know that they're just going to look at porn and masturbate at the end of the day. And so they end up completely compromising the gospel of Jesus Christ in their private lives and in the pulpit. And it's really sad. And um, they just, you know, I saw this pastor's face transform into that of what I, the only thing that I can call it, call it is a dirty old man. He's a dirty old man. So his face was normal at first, and then it transformed into a dirty old man. Um, and his face looked sort of animalistic, like really, really bushy eyebrows, really unkept, kind of like an kind of like an animal. And um, and he would accuse me. You he, he would accuse me. He'd say. Look, why did you, why were you so judgmental, John, towards those people? All they were doing was playing around in the bed. And I said, because they were committing adultery. And, and that's adultery. He said, ah, oh, come on. They were just playing around in the bed. Uh, and so that's what we have going on here in our churches. And you need to know that. Evangelists, you need to know that if you're traveling around getting honorariums because you have a special message for the church, there's your special message for the church right there. You know, because nine times out of ten, that's the big, that's the big hell damning problem going on in all these churches. That is the biggie right there. Um, when you look at the pulpit, you should see Hustler and Playboy and Pornhub all over that thing. Because that's what's going on. That is what's going on. And the Lord says that. And that is a revelation from the Lord. So, thus saith the Lord. It's time to call out pornography in the pulpit. In Jesus' name.